So I'm just going to use this is problem is exactly like uh, example 12 on page 280. So I'm just going to walk through that. So I know the magnitude of the first take, quake is 3.9. So I just set it up in this formula. Remember, that's the ba some baseline that doesn't really matter too much because it's compared to all of them. You've got to remember, this book was written out in, Cal out in uh, Washington, and earthquakes are a big deal on the West Coast. So that's why they put them so much stress on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve this expression. We're going to get an expression in terms of uh, S is going to be equal, S is going to be equal to some uh, an expression in terms of s sub zero. So just like what we did before, I'm going to multiply by three, divide by two, and I'll do that. So that's um, five point eighty five equals the log of s over s sub zero, and then I'm going to exponentiate everything. So uh, ten to the fifth. Uh, let's see. Ten to the five point eight five equals s over s sub zero, so that'll be uh, ten to the five point eighty five times s sub zero equals s. So now they're telling me that the energy that the first quake has is seven hundred and fifty times the energy of the first. So that means it's seven hundred and fifty times this energy value. So seven hundred and fifty times 10 raised to the 5.85 S sub 0 is what the energy of the new quake is. Now we can just drop that into the formula. We just work, drop that into the magnitude formula. The S sub 0's cancel out. That leaves me 2 thirds log 750 times 10 to the 5.8 over 1, I guess I didn't need to write it like a fraction, and then you just evaluate that on calculator. So that tells me the new quake has a magnitude of about 5.82-ish. Alright.